going on gang yep round two for the day so while you get the chance while we're waiting for people to come in feel free to if you're watching this on Twitter hey Rick uh, retweet this share this share this with your friends on Periscope on Twitter let's get the word out we'll start in a little bit uh, gonna make it short got some food on the grill uh, getting ready to feast but I want to give you guys uh, another Periscope for today. Uh, if you weren't with me earlier, I did show you guys the first 15 minutes of our live room. And Rick says, how was your trading day? And that's, uh, well, that's the topic of today's Periscope, or this Periscope right here. For you guys that are new, my name is Akil Stokes. I am uh, the head Forex trader at TradingPower.com. We are a trading education company, so I am a professional trader on my own. I also help those who are looking to become full-time traders or just looking to learn the skill of trading to supplement their income and add it to their investment portfolio. Um, but as the title says, uh, or the title for this Periscope was, it's, it's not always rainbow and unicorns, which means it's not always nice. And I absolutely got lit up in the market today. I got destroyed. It was probably, uh, man, I think I went, was it pound yen was a loser, pound dollar was a loser, New Zealand dollar was a loser. I think two losers on dollar Canada. I have to, I have to check that. Um, dollar yen should still be in progress, but I think five or six losers today, uh, making it probably one of my best, or not best, <laughs> probably one of my worst trading days of the years. I haven't, I haven't calculated the pippage, but it, it's going to be a triple digit loss day for sure. And you may be asking yourself, well, why is, why is this guy coming on to Periscope or Facebook, wherever I shared this at, and telling you about how he, he got manhandled by the market today? Why? Why would I do that? That doesn't sell courses, right? That doesn't make me look like a super trader or the best trader out there. But you know what, guys? It's the reality. Unfortunately, it's the reality of trading. Uh, we spoke to my live room members this morning. If you're going to be a professional professional trader, a full-time trader, um, even a part-time trader, what do you have to be comfortable with? You've got to be comfortable with taking losses because they're going to come. And we never know when they're going to come. Sometimes they can come in short little spurts, a loss here, a loss there. Other times, like today, for me personally, they can come all at the same time, six in a row. You got to be comfortable with taking losses. You got to understand that's part of the plan. Um, it's never a good part, but it's the reality of trading. And if you're not comfortable with that, you're going to find it very hard um, to find any type of longevity in this trading industry. You're going to find it very hard to survive. Now, like you guys, I do get frustrated. It's very frustrated today for you guys that were in the live room. You can see I left a little abruptly. I wanted to get out and away from the markets as quick as possible. And as soon as my day trading day ended, I shut down shop. I hopped in my car and I drove about 30, 30 minutes uh, up towards this river trail. And I went for a five mile run. I got, as, I got far away from the market as soon as possible. I didn't want to sit here. I didn't want to have any chance of getting sucked into that revenge trading atmosphere where, you know, counter trend trades, support is broken. Now it turns to trend continuation. I just pushed the button because I got to make some money back. Didn't want to give myself any chance of making mistakes. So I got out. I drove away. I went for a run. Um, for you guys that don't know, when you do physical activity, exercise, it triggers, what's it called? Um, I think it's called endorphins, which is your brain's chemical to reduce and fight pain. So I, I got to exercise in. I triggered those endorphins up. There we go, endorphins. I got rid of that pain. I came back in a happy mood. Time to reset. I'm going to do my post-market analysis as soon as I'm done getting lunch. I'm going to make sure I evaluate my trading for the day to see if I did everything according to my plan. Yes, I may have taken six or five or six losses today, but were they good trades? Because that's what matters at the end of the day. Were they good trades? Because again, we don't define a trade, right? We don't define a good or a bad trade by whether it wins or it loses. A good or a bad trade are by trades. A good one is one where we follow our rules completely. A bad trade is where we break our rules. So it's very important to me that I go back and I evaluate and make sure that the trades I took, make sure there were, there were setups that I was supposed to be involved in. If they were, I tap myself on the back. I say, hey, Akil, a bad day. 
but at least we got all those losses out the way. Now it's time to make room for some winners. If I did make any mistakes, if I do find if I do find that I was in trades that I wasn't supposed to be in, I take notes on that. I try to write it down, put it in a place that I'll see it and make sure not to repeat that mistake. Um, just off the top of my head, I don't think I made any mistakes today. I think I just got beat up, punched in the face by the market. Um, but you still want to go through that process uh, and make sure you're evaluating yourself the right way um, because no one else is going to do it for you guys. It's not like a, a job, normal job where you have a supervisor that's going to review your paperwork or a teacher that's going to critique you. It's, it's up to you. Um, how come you teach if you're a profitable trader? No offense. Uh, for two reasons. It's a way to supplement my income uh, when years or months are, are bad. Having a trading business or growing your trading business, whether it's being managing money for others, whether it's teaching others, whether it's running a signal service, it's a way to bring in supplemental income. So I can have a bad trading month or year and I don't have to worry about, hey, how am I going to pay the bills? How you know, am I going to keep the kid in this private school or, or, or do I have to worry about the, tar or the car getting towed? Um, you have that safety. Um, now, it does affect your personal trading, but you do have that safety net and that's a good part of growing a business. I also like to give back. I was fortunate enough to um, take advantage of taking an educational course. It, it worked out for me. It didn't work out for me right away, but it did work out for me in the long run. And I was able to achieve a life that I wouldn't have if someone else wasn't reaching out and offering me the chance to kind of learn under them. So for me, I've made almost every mistake you can think about. Kill Stokes, you saved my trading. Thank you. I've made almost every mistake you could think about. So for me, it's a way to give back as well to help those who, hey, they want to find a mentor. They want to find a coach, someone that's going to kind of say, hey, this is how I messed up. Um, you don't do the same thing. It's a way for me to give back and help others achieve their dreams as well. Um, and we have a lot of traders that have come through my courses and our courses here at Trading Power that have gone on to be very, very good traders and, and have been able to transform their life because of that. Um, it's not because of me. I just help show them the way. Um, but it is, a you know, if anyone's saying that, if anyone's teaching and charging money and, and saying that, hey, it's not because of the money as well, they're lying to you. I and mean, we want to be full, fully uh, transparent and honest with about, about that. Supplemental income is good. I'm a big fan of making money. I've got a real estate business as well that I've started um, as another an income source. Uh, so I like money. Money allows me to do what I want. It also allows me to give it and help others as well. Me and the wife are very, uh, very charitable, which is important to us as a household. Um, but that's a good question. Um, so yeah, bad day. It happens in the market. Again, we'll go back, we'll review, make sure I didn't make any mistakes. Um, but want to share that with you because again, a lot of you guys that are in forms, if you're in a trading form, share this link. Let people know about this, guys. This is what you don't see. You know, if someone's bragging about they make money every day, all the time, every single trade, they're lying to you. If you're going to be a trader, it, it's important that you know the reality of trading. Um, I'd much rather go into trading knowing that, hey, I can have massive drawdowns. I can take massive hits. Professional traders are losing too and know what to expect. I'd rather be a little disappointed and know what to expect than go in blind, hit a massive drawdown, blow your account, and then it's too late. And at the end of the day, you know what it is. You know, I see Ian and Tony in here. At the end of the day, we say it all the time, right? As long as you have a chip in a chair, you can play this game. So tomorrow, guess what? These six losing trades aren't going to matter. I've still got money in the account. That means I can access the market. I can place trades and I give myself an opportunity to make and produce some income. Um, and that's, you know, that's why we're smart with money management and risk management. If I blew an account today, say making a mistake like trying to revenge trade and, and timesing my position size by 10, guess what? Tomorrow I'm out of money. I can't trade. I'm done. So as long as we give ourselves a fight and chance, we can fight and we can claw our way back. It's the beginning of the week. So putting a positive spin on it, I got all these losses out the way, right? I got the losses out the way in the beginning. That opens up room for more winners to come. And I've got four more trading days to see if I can take advantage of the market. So uh, thank you guys for hanging with me. It's time to get some food before the wife heads out. Um, I'll post this on Facebook at some time. Again, do me a favor, like, subscribe, share if you're new and this is your first time seeing me. I'm all over social media at Akil Stokes ATM or RTM um, over on Facebook, Facebook slash Akil Stokes RTM here on Twitter at Akil Stokes RTM, Instagram, Akil Stokes RTM. I try to post a lot of positive images and stuff like that to generate a real positive environment. I like positivity. 
Uh, RTM stands for Ratio Trading Mentor. That was kind of the blog I had before I got into trading education. Back when I was just a, a young, dumb trader making mistakes and telling the world about it. Uh, <laughs> and then somehow people fell in love with me. Uh, but positive vibes all day, you know. Why not? We got to live life anyway, right? Each and every day we might as well be positive with it. Thank you guys for hanging out. I'll see you guys next time.